shooting generally uh, and focusing on long and long distance. It's it's uh, yeah. it's type of person I think uh, like shooting on the distance. Yes. Like you say, uh, for many people say it's for not nothing. It's have no purpose. It's why why we do this uh, and yeah. it is a passion. <laughs> it's it, it's it's hard to say why we do it, uh, uh, but. Uh... Well, today I get to chat with a new friend who lives a little bit further away from uh, my neck of the woods than uh, a lot of the people I, I chat with. And uh, this guy I came across on the internet, um, I found out that he achieved something pretty cool. Uh, Andre, is that is that the correct pronunciation of your name? Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's my name. It's correct. Perfect. And where do you live? Uh, I'm uh, live in... Uh... Czech Republic, uh, in city of Liberec, uh, Czech Republic, uh, find in uh, middle of Europe, uh, and uh, it's part of uh, it's member of European Union. Okay, okay, and uh, you were born there and raised there. And I'm born uh, in small village. Uh, it was uh, about uh, 120. Uh, uh, people, it's it's uh, or citizens. It's a very small, uh, small uh, village. Uh, but uh, think this uh, this uh, opportunity. Uh, I have a very wide, uh, very long uh, shooting possibility uh, that is not have uh, in uh, city of Liberec, where we uh, where I have uh, about twenty years uh, from my college day uh, in two thousand five. Uh, so, uh, but it's still uh, my uh, parent house is uh, is uh, there. So I have uh, this opportunity about uh, two times in month uh, shooting on uh, bigger range. Wonderful, wonderful. You know that is the nice thing about living in a uh, rural area, which I do yeah. also. Is uh, you don't have to go through the hassle of going, you know, finding some big city range. And it's maybe only thirty meters uh, that you shoot. It's <laughs> nice having wide open spaces. So, are you? Uh, are your parents uh, still alive? Uh, one, uh, my mom is still alive. Fortunately, my my uh, my father no. Okay. Well, I'm sorry about that. I'm I'm glad that you still have your mother, and I'm I'm glad you still have a, a great place to go and see her and shoot. Uh, what about? Uh, are you married? Do you have children? Yes, uh, I'm married. To Abu <laughs> 15 years if i think uh, and i have uh, five uh, five years old daughter uh, so it's probably see on my uh, videos on youtube uh, this uh, last uh, picture on on that video okay great um and so what do you do for a living what's your occupation is it in the shooting industry uh from uh beginning of i uh, go to the uh, Working market, if I say, uh, I starting uh, make uh, regulators for arguments uh, from uh, uh, even uh, when I uh, in college uh, in two thousand eight, uh, and uh, from then I only work in uh, argon industry. Uh, right now, I am uh, mine uh, developer and CEO of my own company, uh, Altaros. Uh, in this company, we make uh, arguns. Uh, primarily, me focusing on precision argun for long range shootings, uh, and also we make very unique uh, CNC made uh, slugs, uh, which is uh, made on CNC turning. Uh, it's similar like uh, uh, cutting edge, but it's pure leads. Uh, it's unique technology because uh, no no other manufacturer in the world is uh, not making these slugs. And uh, this is very important uh, for all, all picture we can try make them. And uh, I think we can uh, get uh, to this lux uh, later in this uh, conversation. Yes, yes. Well, how fortunate are you and, and me? Uh, we both get to work in the shooting industry. <laughs> I, I feel so fortunate to, to be able to do this. So many people would love to be able to do what we do. And uh, 
it, it kind of it reminds me that you know from the outside looking in it probably looks like our jobs oh they're just easy you go and shoot guns all day what fun there's a lot of work that goes behind it for you i'm uh, just as it is for me i'm sure absolutely it's uh, i say it's uh about 90 uh, 90% it's uh, hard work uh, and maybe 10% it's uh, it's fun it's that good uh, but it's not uh, like other things other other people things uh, it's it's not that easy it's not uh, paradise yeah yes <laughs> absolutely so you mentioned in college is that when you started shooting air guns and um, Actually, uh, I like uh, weapons generally uh, from the beginning. Uh, even uh, small kids, I make myself uh, bow, crossbow, swords, and other weapons. I really like uh, weapons, as I know. Uh, but uh, first argon I get uh, from my dad uh, in uh, seven or eight, uh, and from that uh, that uh, day. Eight, uh, I never stopped shooting Argun even one month, uh, about 30 years. I shot Wonderful. 30 years. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, That's uh, fun. But, uh, uh, it's, uh, my first gun It was uh, uh, Slavia 631. It's the spring gun. Uh, but uh, in 2005, uh, I get first TCP guns, and that uh, is... Uh, really change uh, from uh, spring guns and then start my business. So a spring gun, and I am not very mechanically minded, unlike you, uh, but a spring gun, that would be, that wouldn't be considered an air gun. An air gun, if I'm correct, an air gun would be something that the projectile is expelled from compressed air. Is that correct? Uh, it's correct, but I maybe say uh, wrong. Uh, spring gun make uh, pressure by uh, spring and piston, so it's uh, it's still our guns. Uh, okay. But uh, PCP is uh, prechargeable, so we using uh, pressurable pressure about two hundred or three hundred bars. Uh, that is uh, in a reservoir or uh, R tube, uh, and we not uh, need uh, pushing uh, spring. So create okay. the pressure. So it's a uh, mind difference. Uh, I never uh, work uh, with uh, spring gun because uh, it's it's all technology have uh, some advantage. Uh, but uh, again, modern uh, PCP R guns is uh, um, it's not power or precision. It's 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 all all technologies. Okay, and so. What made you get interested from shooting at, I would say, normal distances for an air gun of, of 20 meters or something like that? What uh, made you choose to go long range? Uh, yes, uh, for me, uh, standard, uh, I never like uh, shooting on standard uh, distance. For air guns, uh, when I start shooting, uh, even uh, at speed, it's standard uh, distance of 10 meters. Uh, it's... Uh, it's Olympic discipline or similar like that. Uh, that is never like for me. I uh, every which every weapon I like try uh, get more distance. That is normal. So even this uh, spring gun uh, where regular people should think about ten or twenty meters or uh, sim like similar. I like uh, get uh, forty meters or eighty meters even at uh, 10 years old that I have. So every time I go with every weapon have, I have uh, to uh, more distance that is regular. Good for you. Yeah, that's a, it's it's like a, a little bug that gets into our system and makes us want to think, you know, if the normal is this far, can we take it even further? It's a, it's a fun challenge. Um, yes, absolutely. What is it like in the Czech Republic? Uh, firearms ownership and air gun ownership. Uh, is it easy or do you have to have a, a government license? Can anyone go get one easily or do you have to be wealthy and famous to have one? Or what's the, what are the legal uh, things in the Czech Republic about guns? 
Uh, yes, uh, in uh, Czech Republic, uh, if I say first, uh, regular firearms uh, is all very good. Uh, compare other uh, member of European Union or other uh, other state uh, where democratic rules like in US, like Europe or or something, we have very good uh, law about uh, firearms. Uh, we have not that super good uh, uh, law like in uh, Texas, for example. Okay. But uh, if we uh, get uh, permission, uh, uh, gun licenses, if I say, uh, it's a part that we need, look that we have uh, handled gun uh, safely. That is, it's not, it's not too much. Uh, it's uh, one exam and uh, you get licenses and then you can have uh, all uh, practically all standard handguns uh, like pice, uh, pistols uh, uh, if I say assault rifle, bolt action rifle and others um, we have some restriction uh, for example uh, we cannot have uh, you know, fully automatic air guns uh, if have no special permit uh, but uh, for uh, against other country, uh, we can uh, keep carry a uh, carry a pistol in uh, outside in public. Uh, and the, if I know, it is uh, uh, very prohibited for many country, many many state in the U.S. Uh, so uh, I can say we have one or maybe two uh, state in European Union, maybe one, we can carry pistols in public and it's okay for us. Wonderful. So it's uh, very good. Uh, from Argans, uh, we have uh, about one and a half years, it's changed, uh, changed the law uh, and in good one, it's very, very unlikely, but it's in good one. And uh, we uh, have uh, uh, it's lost uh, limited for uh, power restriction, and now we can unlimited power for our gun in 25 caliber, and uh, that's uh, bring a uh, lot of people for shooting uh, high power guns, high power our guns, and that is possible shooting also in uh, longer distance because uh, 16 joules it was about uh, 12 foot poles of energy. It was for 100 meter if you have lucky but if you have uh 100 120 foot pounds of energy you can shoot uh like one one uh 1000 yards or more if you have good uh, equipment okay to make sure i understand you can have air guns but they cannot be larger than a 25 caliber if they have uh, a certain amount of power behind them uh, not uh, not directly in uh, up up to uh, to uh, twenty five caliber. You have uh, buy our guns uh, only and eighteen years. Uh, you must uh, you get twenty years uh, old. And uh, if you have a bigger uh, caliber, you must get uh, in police and uh, just uh, make uh, registration this our gun. Okay, but this is only 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 restriction. You have not uh, firearm licenses for this are guns, so it's a uh, little restriction. Uh, but uh, in twenty five, you don't have uh, even that. You you can just get by the argan and get shot. Okay, uh, that is uh, good for argans, uh, but uh, it's uh, it's uh, as I say half. Uh, one half, one years and a half uh, back when we have this limitation, and it's very good that it's changed. Okay, um, and so you, the reason we're chatting today is because I heard about your one mile record, but you set a re world record with an air gun before the one mile shot some years ago. Is that correct? Yes, uh, it's it is correct. Uh, I set uh, my first argon record about three and a half or four years back. Uh, it was hitting the target on 1400 yards. Uh, target size was really about two and a half MOA. So it's, um, if I compare it for new records, even th that day, it's 
4-4-4 way for many arguments, but uh, for me now, it's it's not that, that big deal. Okay. Yeah. It's And for those of you watching who are, are not familiar with minutes of angle, um, essentially, and this is rounding it down, this is not scientifically precise, but think about an inch per hundred yards. So if he was shooting at 1400 yards, it would be about a 14 inch target would be one minute of angle. So if he was shooting a two minute of angle target, it would be about a 28 inch by 28 inch target. So when you hear us say MOA, um, that's what we mean. And if we're talking a thousand yards, then it would be 10 hundred, which is a thousand. So 10 inches would be about one minute of angle. 20 inches would be two minutes of angle, et cetera. So as you hear us talking about minutes of angle, that's, that's what we're referring to. Um, and when was it that you set that record at 1,400 yards? How many years ago? Uh, it's about three and a half years. Okay. And then since then, when did you first decide, you know, I want to do one mile? When did you make that decision and start building and putting together all the special equipment and the plans for it? Uh, it's about... 10 day after the first record. <laughs> I love it. 10 days and you had the bug and we're ready to continue. So it, you built up, is it a purpose built rifle that you built up for this? For Is it only for that extreme distance? I would imagine you'd have to have some, side of, uh, some sort of sighting system to get the scope tilted down enough to, to reach that far. Uh, I actually use uh, already boot uh, my Argon Altaros M24, uh, which I use for the first record. I must modify modify them uh, mainly uh, by increasing uh, the power, and that increase uh, the uh, uh, muzzle velocity. Uh, it's about only twenty percent. It's not that much but it's enough uh, that i get uh, muzzle velocity about 850 fps uh, with 66 grain bullets uh, that is uh, neat but the uh, most important uh, elements of uh, our m24 argon is not power itself uh, because uh, other companies uh, in the world uh, are able to make even uh, more powerful or uh, more um, higher muzzle velocity are guns, but uh, most advantage uh, our system is uh, consistency of muzzle velocity. It is a uh, very, very, uh, very uh, essential uh, keep uh, muzzle velocity very uh, in very low uh, dispersion uh, because you use it uh, very low uh, muzzle velocity against uh, firearms. Uh, and if I say uh, we can try uh, keep uh, SD, uh, muzzle velocity standard deviation under one FPS, uh, we get the record about uh, 0 0.44 FPS uh, for 25 shots in a row. Wow, that is consistent. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're thrilled with a three or a four foot per second deviation and this is very good uh, very good uh, long uh, uh, <laughs> hand, hand load uh, ammo if we use uh, firearms uh, if i know uh, five in one dig digit it's very very good uh, uh, hand load ammo if i know so, so uh, for our guns it's uh, it's also uh, not uh, not standard uh, before it was it was not that bad, uh, like uh, for 24, 22 uh, LR or uh, similar similar um, uh, ammo in in uh, this uh, this firearms, uh, but uh, it's still about uh, four or five uh, FPS in standard. Okay. So uh, under this uh, this value is uh, possible gets so uh, in. Um, good uh, precision uh very very low uh very low uh difference uh in uh vertical vertical spreads uh but the uh, second uh, part of the puzzle are our unique cnc turnet lead bullets uh, because uh, no other manufacturer it's made uh, i must uh, 
improve, not improve, but uh, develop this technology. Uh, and uh, this is the second part because uh, CNC lead bullet, uh, similar like for firearms, uh, get compared to other technology, very small SD of ballistic coefficient and also very, very low uh, weight difference. Uh, it's system. So it's not only about our guns, but also about ammunition and together uh, make uh, successful, successful condition uh, for shooting at this extreme long range, uh, long range shooting. So it's not uh, only one part, it's uh, two parts. So the, it, it, tell me if I'm correct. I'm, I'm not uh, that knowledgeable about ballistics. With your system, it's a 22 caliber. If I had a uh, a 22 caliber uh, firearm, it is powered by fire by a uh, an explosion or, or a compressed. Uh, the, the the explosion is the primer, and then the gunpowder burns. It's the pressure, but uh, difference um, uh, possible. How make this pressure? Right. So so this would be an internal or interior ballistics issue. So Andre's gun and my gun have very different science uh, physics behind what's happening inside the gun but as soon as the bullet leaves the muzzle that's a different kind of ballistics now that's called exterior or external ballistics and that's what happens between the time the bullet leaves the muzzle and it hits the target once it hits the target then that becomes a whole new study which is terminal ballistics and I don't hunt big game. And I think for the, purpose of the purposes of this conversation, we are interested in interior ballistics and exterior ballistics. But for me, I shoot steel targets. And as long as it goes ding, I'm happy. I don't care what else happens, yes. uh, terminal yeah. ballistics. And as, as long as it pops your balloon, you don't care. So I, I do this lead up to say, once that bullet leaves the muzzle, now we're talking exterior ballistics external ballistics at that point everything is equal it doesn't matter how the bullet got up to that speed as long as it's going at a certain twist rate as long as the bullet has a certain ballistic coefficient from there to the target it would be the same as a firearm is that correct yes uh, it's uh, absolutely uh, the same when uh, bullets uh, exit uh, the muzzle uh, you have uh, same uh, same physics, uh, so that is that is why using uh, same knowledge that you guys give me uh, about years uh, and uh, same ballistics, uh, but only only difference that I have not a uh, problem when uh, words go to the uh, transonic re regime because I start uh, under uh, under. Um, uh, under suit, suit of speed, yes. so I don't need not get uh, this uh, transonic reg uh, regions if I say correctly. I understand. Uh, so this yes. is uh, good for me, but uh, elevation that I, I must need uh, for, for example, uh, one mile is uh, really uh, much bigger that you need because uh, muzzle velocity is much lower about three or four times right when we're shooting and typically when we shoot one mile we shoot with a 6.5 creedmoor and the bullet speed is maybe 2700 feet per second and so our holdover and now we're at 7000 feet elevation so that that makes a difference our altitude um, but our holdover is usually about 73 minutes of angle is all of the adjustment we need for that and so for you, having a muzzle velocity of 800 something. 860, I believe. 860. So you had to have a lot of minutes of angle adjustment in yes. your scope. It's 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 a lot. And that is the reason why normal uh, rifle scope is not enough uh, and can uh, bring the, the periscope system uh, is uh, similar uh, things uh, like uh, Charlie Tarak uh, because uh, Charlie Tarak is 
great uh, great equipment uh, but for our guns i think uh it's price point is uh, too high uh we have uh, much less uh, recoil so i make this uh, this periscope about uh, 40 dollars uh 3d printers and uh, some glass uh, from ebay okay wow so it by the way is your degree in engineering or yes uh, i have uh, engineering uh, my uh, focusing is uh, regulation and uh, pcp control so it's not uh, it's not machinery uh, but uh, i i using all all information uh, together because i start uh, making regulators for argon so it's like say i use it my degree from uh, from college but it's it's not true it's much more uh, electronic device and i uh, primarily focusing for uh, mechanic uh, mechanic spots okay you know it's interesting and i don't know if you notice this also but i noticed that the the long range shooting community uh it's comprised mostly of engineers uh airline pilots attorneys people who take a set of of data and say okay well if the bullet weighs this much and it's shaped in a certain way we get our ballistic coefficient and if it travels at a certain speed and it spins you punch all the numbers in and well, there's your answer i am one of the few people when i'm in the the long range community who is absolutely an idiot when it comes to physics and engineering and such. I don't understand it all. I just get a kick out of go, whoa, we just hit that at that distance. And to me, it's a surprise every time. I don't have nearly the uh, the engineering knowledge uh, that the typical shooter does. That's that's wonderful that you, you have that educational background as well as having a passion for it. It certainly comes together. And still, you uh, keep your world records for four point four miles, if I <laughs> if I say correct. Yeah, but I'm not the guy who did the math for it. My partner Scott, he's the brains behind the whole thing. I I was just the guy who you know got to kind of enjoy and lead the team. But yeah, it, those are the smart you and Scott and other people like you, Brian Litz. You're the smart ones who lead the industry, and I I thank you for making these advancements. And this brings up an interesting point. There are a number of people that gave us feedback, and I su suspect that it was similar for you, when we said to the world, hey, we went out and did something that is pretty fun, pretty cool. We we hit a target that we were aiming at with a, a rifle from a, a long way away. We got a lot of feedback from haters, and they would say, well, that wasn't under military conditions, so it doesn't count. And you didn't do it in just one shot, so it doesn't count. And, um, well, that's not realistic. You can't shoot a deer. That's not ethical to shoot a deer from that distance. And there were all of these arguments, and it, admittedly from pretty low IQ people, but they didn't realize that it's like any record that is set. If you're driving an automobile the fastest that exactly. one's ever been driven, it's you not don't normal, argue normal traffic uh, traffic in the street it's a uh, circle and it's it's race and still the records yes yes and and you're not saying well that race car you can't fit very many groceries into it that's useless well no uh andre and, and we we purpose built these or had built in andre's case he actually did it himself uh, these rifle systems and ammunition systems that would actually achieve this. And neither Andre nor I, we're not claiming that either of us could go sit down with a rifle with one projectile and hit a target at 4.4 miles with a firearm or one mile with an air gun. No, it's gonna take multiple shots and then one lands on there. And and that is just kind of how the game goes. And not everyone is smart enough to understand this or has, has maybe not as smartness, but hasn't spent time actually long range shooting to know this. Um, how many times did you go out and try at a mile before you even saw any dust kicking up? Did you take trips out beforehand? Uh, 
I uh, first uh, find uh, the solution if able uh, even shot at the distance. Of course, maths uh, from Brian Litz, uh say, yes, you have this parameter, you can able get to this distance. But uh, if it's true, it's uh, nobody know because nobody can try. So first time I can uh, see impact. That is, that is all. And uh, I get in a previous video uh, when almost hits uh, about uh, soda for one mile because it's my uh, aiming point that I say where I can try uh, to hit. And when I see uh, the impact and the second impact, I know I able hit uh, the targets and then I, I must uh, improve uh, uh, puzzle, uh, looking uh, where uh, the impact uh, go to the ground, uh, find uh, good uh, condition about uh, wet uh, dry. Uh, when I see if it's uh, wet, uh, wet ground, I don't see anything. Uh, that is uh, most important things. Uh, and many people who should think uh, on long range distance, it's no. Uh, if you don't see the impact, it's not need shooting. It's that is pure luck if you hit. Uh, so I have a couple of days before. It's not day because uh, I have uh, weeks, uh, weekends, only weekends, uh, about uh, two weekends at the month, as I say before. So uh, I using two or three weekends uh, for this. Uh, I see that I able. Uh, see the impact uh, i able get to the distance uh, i uh, improve uh, my rifle and i see uh, that my bullets uh, shorter and uh, lighter it's not work perfectly for the distance uh, last the weekend before the record weekends uh, i uh, make about 20 20 shot uh, 66 grain uh, bullet that was uh, longer and heavier and that was work much better, much better. So uh, in in uh, uh, in my shop, I make more this uh, these bullets, and uh, I hit uh, in Friday practically uh, when I start shooting. I see yes, it's very good. N not uh, that the weather is good, but uh, systems work very good. Uh, so I shot about 60 shots and uh, hit the target. So it was good for me, but uh, much important for me, it was not lucky shots. I see in the video that it's not so lucky shot. It's a uh, very consistency, uh, very uh, um, uh, shrink groups. So I am very lucky that I made this record and this uh, this shooting because it's not lucky. It's uh, it's only statistic when I hit or not. And in video, it's see I am full straight where uh, come uh, later because I know it it's possible that not came that day. So uh, practically last shot I shot I can get break. So it's it's lucky. It's it's still lucky that I don't break uh, one shot before. Yes, but, yes. You didn't give up and you kept going. Yes, exactly, exactly. And so uh, regarding the luck part of it, if if you took a really good, if you took your system, your air rifle, your uh, prism, your optical uh, uh, periscope, periscope system, if you took that system and left the rifle sitting in that room and someone else walked in who is a, a standard air gun shooter, and said, yeah, go for it. They're not going to hit the one mile target. And so that that is, I think, the difference of, of knowing the ballistics, knowing how much holdover there actually is, knowing how to deal with the wind, kn knowing all of those details through trial and error. This is why people you know, who say, well, it was just a lucky shot. No, go get yourself an air gun and shoot at a balloon in a field and see what you see if you hit it. You're not going to hit it. 
Um, and the fact that you do it in less than a hundred shots or less than 200 shots, that's a, a very good thing. At this distance, which uh, people know which, uh, even probably one million. If, if uh, that, uh, that shooter don't know uh, what is need, it's not possible shooting at this distance. It's it's wrong way get uh, from start to this point. Uh, but after if I make these guns uh, and uh, all all prepared uh, and use uh, standard shooter, then it's probably that they hit the targets. Sorry, uh, but uh, the work around this uh, it's that is the knowledge about shooting at uh, this distance. What do you think in 10 years, uh, how far do you think the record will be for an air gun uh, in 10 years from now? What will the, the world record be then? What do you think? Uh, I, generally, I don't know. This first and uh, my try uh, see the future is, is limited. Uh, our guns uh, right now is um, uh, get uh, in technology way uh, much uh, much faster than uh, that firearms uh, that is generally uh, five years back uh, we are able shooting 100 200 was very limited and about 200 is just few rounds. Now it's uh, we get uh, the distance and 500 meters is my standard uh, shooting range that I try uh, training which uh, shooting. So uh, it's improve every year very fast. But uh, I think so we get uh, just a little bit limitation of physics. And uh, it's good to say uh, that uh, that my argon using for the record have uh, max uh, distance for shooting where uh, max uh, I'm not sure how I say uh, how much far the uh, argon uh, get get fired has about uh, two kilometers two point one kilometers and this is I'm not sure. Uh, 1.62 uh, is one mile. So I have uh, last third uh, of my max distance for shooting. So if I not get uh, better uh, ballistic coefficient and uh, not increase the muzzle velocity, but uh, not muzzle velocity is not increased that much. It's only about increase the uh, ballistic coefficient that uh, bullet not slow too much and get uh, get uh, the longer distance. So with this technology, uh, I think uh, it's on the edge, one mile. Uh, but if we increase the caliber and uh, that uh, make uh, possible, make a uh, better ballistic coefficient for, uh, for bullets, I think it's uh, two kilometers. Uh, Fortunately, I am in metric guy in Europe. Uh, this is, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it's about two two point two uh, thousand yards, approximately. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is, uh, it's still possible. Uh, but uh, if not uh, get uh, this arrogance uh, or our technology to the US, uh, I don't think it's not moving because. Uh, my records, my previous record, have uh, almost four years old, and nobody can try get uh, to the uh, higher record. So uh, even myself, I, I'm limitation, maybe maybe plus two hundred yard, three hundred yards, and that is uh, I must uh, change the place, and it's not that easy. Uh, we are fortunate; they have. Fortunate and uh, maybe it's good for us. We have no deserts uh, like Utah or or similar country when distance is no problem. Right, right. Yeah, that's uh, that uh, finding a place to shoot is always a challenge. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's a, a challenge. And for firearms, for small arms uh, rifles, uh, so in other words, up to fifty caliber 
kind of the accepted wisdom or the physics is that a bullet will never be able to purposefully hit a target at more than 5.5 miles. And so that's still 1.1 miles. And I don't know for, for firearms with a heavier bullet with a three, 400 grain bullet, I don't know if that is going to happen. Somebody's going to hit a five mile target with a rifle. Somebody will at some point. And I don't know if that's going to happen in one year or 50 years. Um, who knows? Uh, but it sure is interesting. And part of what my partner Scott and I are happy to do and is help other people break our record. And that's kind of what you're doing by manufacturing guns, the air guns and projectiles. You're encouraging other people Hey, get into this sport. Enjoy it. It's fun. Uh, beat me. Uh, let's let's have a fun competition yes, here and see who can do the next one. And, and so that is your you sell uh, air rifles and and I euros are close enough to U.S. dollars that will you just give me an idea if I wanted to to try to beat you and I moved to the Czech Republic for two months into a farming town where I had the space, um, which of your rifles? should I purchase and what scope, what whole system would you suggest selling me uh, so that I could try to beat your record? Uh, right now, uh, previous record, I have uh, this gun. Uh, it's not a uh, standard air guns, uh, primarily about the barrels. It have uh, heavy barrels, uh, about one inch, uh, uh, I'm the diameter uh, one, yeah. one inch uh, diameter yes uh and uh practically nobody uh make this uh this uh, barrel so it's i it's not standard argument barrel, it's standard uh, barrel for firearms uh that is a major difference because uh Argon's barrel have not enough twists it's it's List about uh, 70.7, so it cannot possibly using uh, heavy long bullets uh, for our guns. Uh, we right now uh, right, uh, think uh, it is time to make a uh, similar argon that I use. Uh, that argon's uh, body and the valve system and these things is the same that is resell. But uh, the barrels is standard for our guns because uh, a lot of people can uh, have access for standard argon ammunition and not have a special barrel for special purpose but right, uh, right now uh, we starting uh, 223 caliber uh, and uh, this argon have uh, same same parameters as i use it for the record so uh, we hope we get uh, in the Christmas, get in the market. I'm not sure. I'm still uh, still uh, stuck from uh, not technological, but uh, we make a uh, lot of uh, accessories for our guns and others. And my uh, primary uh, focus, uh, focus is on my company and my employees that have... Uh, so we must uh, pay bills and yeah, the accessories uh, this, pay the bills, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and for this uh, special things, uh, it's um, it's my dream get the on the markets, but uh, it's get slowly. Uh, primarily must focusing uh, on stable uh, stable grounds, and uh, then get uh, to the future for arguments or. Uh, my uh, dream is to uh, get bridge from uh, firearms, uh, long time shooter, to the Argons, uh, primarily in Europe, because uh, in Europe uh, and Czech Republic, uh, we have a big problem with uh, uh, um, uh, um, distance for uh, shooting range. In Czech Republic, uh, public shooting range is about much distance, about 500 meters. That is about 600 yards not not even even 600 yards that is for me minor uh primary reason that i should think argon because 600 yards is nothing for long range argon uh for for a long range uh firearms uh and i get i like it more and uh only possibility for me 
is the argon. So for uh, many uh, Europe, European countries, it's uh, have similar problems. And I know uh, firearms still have uh, advantage, uh, higher speed, uh, better ballistic coefficients. But uh, the gap is not that big, the big uh, one that was about five years back. So this is uh, this is a uh, uh, dream for me. Get a special division for shooting 400, 500, 600, or even even uh, thousand yards uh, in competition with Argon. And thank uh, the law that uh, we have. We not need not need to use uh, shopping range. Uh, it's more possible in Europe uh, that uh, which firearms where uh, it's very limitation. Yes, yes. Well, I love what you're doing. I love that we are both into the long range game and we just, we have different ways of getting that little projectile traveling. And then from then on, it's the, the same thing for, for Mark and Sam and for, for you yes. and for me and, and people all over the world. My other friend with a, with a similar name to yours, who's in uh, in Russia, we all have similar passions of getting that little bullet going and seeing how far we can get it to go. And fashion, exactly. What is your favorite uh, distance to shoot? And the reason I ask that is for me, if, if you came over to visit me in Wyoming we would get on our ATVs, our, our four-wheelers, and we would go out into the desert and we would find a rock on a hillside and we would range it with our rangefinder and say, okay, it's 1,375 uh, yards away. And then we would put our, our dope into our scope and try to hit it and shoot a number of shots before we get it. For me, I love that distance, especially if I'm shooting steel, because you can't hear steel at two miles. It, you don't hear that ring. So I like it when it's closer. Um, what is your preferred distance? If you're just going out and shooting for fun, what distance do you like to shoot? Uh, yeah, I have no preferred distance. Uh, for me, uh, I like uh, look how it's able possible shooting uh, with very good groups. So if I, if I have a choice, I like about uh, 1,000 yards. Uh, it's relatively good uh, distance for our guns. Uh, wind is not so crazy. Uh, times is about five, five seconds uh, to impacts. Uh, it's not too crazy like one miles. Uh, and uh, it has one advantage uh, because uh, we fire very uh, in very uh, high distance from the grounds. Uh, uh, wind is consistent. It's consistent, so it's it's not like uh, firearms where you fire couple couple of meters uh, underground. Uh, we get about 40, 30, 50 meters for thousand yard shots. So wind uh, make uh, more stable. It's uh, it's uh, more predictable, and uh, that is uh, why it's a good shooting for the distance. Mm. Uh, but uh, I'm turning two hundred yard, four hundred yard, five hundred yard. Uh, it's uh, it's on one thousand yard. I have uh, much less opportunity shooting on the distance. Uh, and uh, same time, it's uh, again uh, more difficult because uh, I must uh, focusing on people when get uh, around around the target. So uh, it's not perfect because uh, in Czech Republic is uh, population uh, very high, uh, depend on uh, square meters on on um, uh, say um, uh, it's. Very high density of population, so many people uh, come around the target every time. So I right. must still be be very careful uh, that uh, I'm shooting safety, uh, and uh, for very safety shooting is about two or three hundred meters. 
Like I'm surely that is uh, nobody around. Right, right. Well, very good, and I'm glad you brought the safety thing up. That's uh, that's something that I, I don't think uh, everyone realizes that a serious long range shooter really thinks about this. It's not like a person who goes out shooting once a year to hunt a deer. We think about. Who, might someone ride a bicycle or a car or an ATV between us? And what is beyond our target? If we mess up and we turn the scope a full dial too many, are we still safe where we're shooting? And that safety thing is is very important. So what questions haven't I asked you that I should have asked you? What else can you think of? I'm not sure about question. Uh, maybe I uh, react on your last uh, last say. Uh, in Argoons on one mile, you must be uh, carry as a both uh, low aircraft. <laughs> yes, exactly. You, you should think about uh, the bullets get uh, the uh, altitude about. I'm not sure for on feet, but about two hundred. 40 yards from the ground so uh this is you know you you can even looking in the sky what is the day <laughs> it's most uh, most dangerous space that in the ground <laughs> between uh, you and the target of course uh, around the target is the danger but uh, between the distance it's not that's uh danger that, like uh in uh in the sky between you and target well Thank you so much for coming on today and uh, chatting with me. And uh, God, I got to tell.